Hey, what is up guys? Alex here and welcome to my channel. I hope that you're doing well wherever you may be. If you're new to the channel and uh, you're into Toyota Tacomas and off-roading, please go ahead and hit that subscription and bell notification button so you can follow me along with my Tacoma builds and my off-roading adventures. And uh, that being said, today's video is a big project and I will be installing a, uh, a front bumper guard by body armor and this is the Highline 4x4 and also a winch by Smitty Built and I have the XRC 3rd Gen 9500 pound winch and a 24 inch LED light bar as well. So this is an install that I should have done a long time ago because I've gone off-roading a few times on my own and it's uh, not uh, recommended to be doing that as you can get stuck and it'll be tough and it'll be a challenge to get yourself out of it jam so uh, we have a lot of stuff to do that being said let's uh, jump into the project let's get this going and uh, can't wait to uh, see the results I'm going to start with the installation of the 24-inch LED light bar, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and test it out first before we permanently mount it onto the uh, bumper. So as you can see, it works fine, and uh, we can proceed with mounting it. So I'm going to go ahead with the LED light bar installation and I will be using the uh, mounting bracket that came with the uh, Highline bumper and I will be using the nuts, bolts and washers that was provided in the uh, LED light bar package. The installation is pretty straightforward, it's just a matter of using an allen key and uh, mounting the uh, nuts and bolts. Okay, the installation of the LED light bar is now complete. I just need to wire it once we have it mounted on the truck. Now it works, it uh, centered perfectly and uh, it's looking good so far. So next is the uh, installation of the winch. So the installation of the wires is very straightforward. Smitty Build actually did a very good job labeling them. So all you gotta do is follow the letter codings so basically A goes with the A wire, B goes with B, C, D and whatnot, and everything else is color coded uh, as well. So again, very straightforward. All we're using is a 13 millimeter wrench and we're good to go. There is a wire here that will power up the light that will illuminate the wrench when, uh, when you're using it at night. And there's also a blue and white wire here that will be connected to one of our ignition controlled uh, wires or basically I'm going to use the DRL line so when the uh, truck is running the SB logo also illuminates not that you can see it from out here but hey why not so I'm going to go ahead and uh, install the wires uh, and take it from there so this one says B Let me just bring the camera closer so you can see how everything else is wired. Alright, so now we're ready to mount the uh, whole winch assembly onto the bumper. Okay, so before I mount the uh, winch onto the bumper, I'll install the fairly first. So, 
This one's pretty straightforward again. We have a, uh, a bolt and washer on one side. And we have a lock washer and the uh, nut that will hold it into place. And we'll mount that from the other side. Okay, so we got our fair lead installed. Let's do the uh, winch mounting. Essentially, we have four mounting points here, so we'll put uh, the bolts through from the bottom to attach to the uh, winch. So our whole bumper assembly is now finished. I got uh, everything installed. The winch is now mounted onto the bumper. All we're doing is to uh, connect the positive and negative and also our DRL light. I got the uh, LED light bar also mounted and the uh, synthetic rope installed onto the drum. So all we got to do is to install it onto the truck and I can't wait to get this done. Okay, next step we'll need to remove the uh, front grille so we'll be needing a 10 millimeter socket with an impact gun and also needle nose pliers just to push in any clips or tabs that are holding any wiring harnesses attached to the grill. And in my case I have the uh, Anytime backup camera here and also the uh, sensor plate for the radar a cruise control and the uh, Raptor LED lights that I need to remove from the grill and that's pretty much it. There are also a couple of clips that are holding uh, this tab down, so uh, they're on both sides. All you need is a uh, clip holder. That works as well so I didn't have to undo all of the uh, the uh, warning harnesses attached to the grill so it saves me time if you can just push it up out of the way then you're good to go so I won't be removing the entire bumper assembly to save us time and effort and we'll just try to maneuver around things so we can access uh, everything else that we need to remove and access but, uh, to begin with we need to remove the uh, the crash bar and also the crash bar bracket that's holding it and in order to do that we need to remove this front plastic cover and uh, let's just go ahead and uh, take it out should be uh, fairly easy it's being held by a couple of 10 millimeter bolts at the bottom and also clips all around here or tabs so we just need to pull it out and uh, hopefully it comes off easy
Okay, so taking out the uh, crash bar cover is pretty simple. Just have a few tab clips that are holding it in place and all you got to do is pinch it uh, like so. So all you got to do is pinch it and it pulls right off. So next step here is to remove the uh, crash bar and we'll need a 14 millimeter deep socket with an extension. There's three on each side. So I'll go ahead and uh, get these out. Before we can remove the crash bar, we need to do our cut first and uh, cut out the uh, front piece of the bumper so we'll have enough room to take the uh, crash bar out as there's uh, an extension arm that's holding it uh, in place. So I'll go ahead and do my markings and do the cutting. One thing that I won't do is uh, put tape over the bumper. That doesn't really make sense to me since you're cutting it anyway. Why bother putting the tape? So I'll just mark it directly on the uh, bumper and then uh, let's do our cut. But before that, as you can see, my truck's pretty muddy and dusty as I went off-roading uh, last week. But I'll uh, give it a nice wipe before we do our marks. Now that we have our bumper all cleaned up, we're going to make our mark, which is uh, 20 millimeters from the edge of this uh, uh, groove here. And uh, we'll go right around to the other side as well. When we get to this point over here where this basically meets the front bumper, we'll just follow along where the uh, uh, joint is from this point all the way to the uh, bottom of the bumper. So that part will be pretty simple to do. Okay, so I've measured three times. I'm ready to cut once and uh, don't forget your safety glasses when you're doing this and uh, let's hack away. piece is gone so after cutting I just want to use sandpaper to smooth out the edge I know that we'll be covering this with a uh, rubber strip covering but uh, like to send it out anyway make sure that it's nice and clean Now that we've done a cutout, we should be able to remove the uh, crash bar without any problems. Just a note, there was a clip that was holding this and it was attached to the, uh, the bottom of the bumper. So all you got to do is pinch it and then it comes right out like so. So this piece is a goner. Now we can go ahead and remove our uh, crash bar bracket. Okay, so these um, brackets for the crash bar and including the crash bar are not going to be needed anymore. So you can go ahead and uh, get rid of these ones. 
Next step, we need to relocate the cooler, which is this whole unit here. And it goes across to the uh, other side as well. And uh, uh, there's a 12 millimeter bolt that is holding it. One over here and one over here. So we need to undo those and then uh, use the uh, supplied bracket for relocation and we will be using the uh, OEM bolt that we will take out from there and we use that for this portion. Now that we've taken out the two bolts holding down the uh, cooler in the front, there is another bolt on the uh, passenger side and it's right behind this liner over here and uh, pop the clip that's holding it. Let me just grab the uh, flashlight there for you. Okay, here we go, we should be able to see it better with the light and uh, pop this uh, clip right here and should be able to access this bolt right here which is 12 millimeters so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo this one so we can move the uh, cooler freely now that we can move the uh, cooler freely we can install the uh, relocation bracket and uh, we will as mentioned we will be reusing the uh, factory bolt that was originally holding down the uh, cooler so go ahead and place it there and slide slide it into the hole put your washer on and uh, lock nut Okay, here it is after installing the uh, relocation bracket and this is the other side and we are good to go to the next step. Okay, next, uh, installing the edge trim. We're mounting the bumper with the winch and I woke up my neighbor Brendan to help me out and uh, here we go. So, watch the road. all right so the installation is almost done here i've installed the uh, bumper tested the winch it works fine spooled the synthetic rope it's working fine as well installed the uh, d-ring shackles as you can see so we're pretty much done i just need to uh, tidy up the wires and permanently connect the uh, negative and positive connections to the battery and reinstall the grill and that should take care of everything so another project done and i'm very happy how it turned out just want to give you guys a look see on how it looks i think it looks great
nice clean install everything works as expected and uh, <clears throat> the reason why i went with the body armor low profile bumper is because i have the um, radar uh, sensor plate for cruise control and uh, the reason why i went, went with the smitty built wench is because of the uh, number one price point this one's got good reviews it's got the seven horsepower motor the xrc comp actually comes with the synthetic rope and it can pull about up to 9500 pounds and it's got a remote control with lighting and all that fun stuff i'll be posting on the descriptions below the links to all the products that i use in case you guys are interested in what they are but uh, that's it for now um, i'm ready to go off-roading again by myself as going solo would be uh, not as uh, nerve-wracking as going by yourself but yeah uh, that's the reason why i uh, put this on and i'm really happy with how it turned out and it's a lot of work but uh, i got everything done so i hope that this video was useful to you guys uh, please give it a thumbs up if uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, for those who haven't subscribed i hope that you'd uh, click that subscription and uh, bell notification bell buttons so uh, you can follow me on my build and off-roading adventures and again to my subscribers thank you so much for following me and until the next time but uh, for now i'm gonna call it a day and i hope to see you guys again next time if you can be anything you know it is might as well be nice <laughs>